Kamusta everyone? I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, hello there! My name is Karen Santiago, a medical technologist based in Doha, Qatar. For today's vlog, I am going to share with you how to make a YouTube thumbnail. And this is for those who are planning to make their own YouTube channel. The only website that I use in making my thumbnail is canva.com Okay, Canva is a graphic design platform that allows users like us to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, and other visual content. So here you can see the homepage. Before anything else, Canva is free to use. However, they offer a plan which is the Pro plan. You can see it's on the middle wherein more features that can help you beautify and customize your graphic design will be unlocked and free to use. They have a free 30-day trial if you want and you can also unsubscribe anytime. I personally use the Canva Pro because I think it is a good investment for my channel and other graphic design needs. But the free Canva is already amazing with its free templates and photos which you can freely use in creating an amazing YouTube thumbnail. Let's go back to the home page. Okay, first of all, you need to sign up. As you can see, I'm already signed up and my profile image is already here because all your designs will be saved on your account. Like mine, when you scroll down, it will show you your saved designs. When you download the app for Canva on your mobile phone, these designs will be synced with your account and you can access and download your designs directly from your phone. Very handy, isn't it? What I also love about Canva is that each template has its own dimensions that suits your needs. As you can see, if you need a YouTube thumbnail, it's 1280 by 720, 1080 by 1920 for Instagram stories, and so on and so forth. Today, we will make a YouTube thumbnail, so let's go on and type YouTube thumbnail. okay it will load to a new page wherein you can choose a template here you can see tons of templates or you can also create from scratch whichever you choose it will lead you to another window where all the editing will take place I personally want to make from scratch because I want everything on my channel to be unique and original. So let's go ahead and click blank. So here we are redirected to the editing platform. So before making a thumbnail, I will first show you around this editing studio or platform. Okay, in this area, on the center, this will be your canvas. This is a blank page since we are working from scratch. This is already calibrated with the YouTube thumbnails dimension. On the upper left here, we have the templates. In this area, you'll see hundreds of templates that you can freely use. If you are in a hurry or feeling a little, a little less creative, Feel free to use one of the templates and just customize it to make it as your own. Next is the upload, upload section. Here you can see the files that you have uploaded from your computer or laptop. You can upload a video or a photo that you wish to use on your design. Next is the photos. In here, you can see hundreds of photos for your liking. 
when you hover your cursor on the image, it will show you if it's free or not. But for me, it is all free. One perk of being a pro. By the way, when selecting a photo, you can just easily click the photo that you like and it will automatically appear in your Canva, canvas or page, just like this one. If you don't like it, then just delete and click another one. Okay, you can resize it or you just include the part of the image that you like. Okay, same goes with everything in this panel. Let's say for the uploads, I'll just click and it will go here and just delete it. I don't like it anymore. Next, after the photos, we have the elements. This is my favorite. In this tool, you can grab animated or non-animated stickers, borders, gradients, shapes, sparkly stuff, drawn images, drawn flowers, subscribe and like buttons, basically everything that you need just type in the search bar so for example youtube you have it here or you want subscribe yes you can have it like that okay as you can see here we have the grids and also the frame frame and grid is like adding a layer wherein you can add a particular media file for example, let's grab one frame. Okay, let's uh, pick a different. Okay, let's grab a frame and let's put an image from our uploaded files. Okay, you can either drag the photo directly to the frame, and here you have, here you have it. You can adjust it can resize it okay or what I love what I also love is that you have a frame here yet I want to remove the background first so I have to select the image from the upload and once it is in the canvas click it once again and here on the upper left Click Effects and select Remove Background or Background Remover and just wait and you will see the magic. Ta-da! And then you can easily just put it here and there you go. This made my life easier and this is my favorite. Okay, so moving on, we have the, after the elements, we have the text. Just Click the template that you want and once it is already in your canvas, go ahead and select the words or group of words that you wish to edit. So like this, bake fresh. So you can just double click and change it to hello, hello fresh, like that. On the upper part of the canvas are the editing tools for your text, such as the text font here, the color, font color, size, alignment, transparency, and spacing. You can also apply effects and group and ungroup the text. So effects like this one, or group and ungroup. There you go, we have ungrouped the font, so they are individually different now. You can wish to edit this one, it will not affect the other one. Okay. For pro users, you can upload your own font by clicking the font options above the canvas here. And you will see at the very bottom, upload a font over here. Just click that, it will redirect you to another window. And just scroll down and 
here in this area you can upload a font coming from your computer or a laptop okay so going back after the text we have the videos just like the photos there are also high quality videos that are available but we are talking about making a thumbnail here so we can skip this portion because when once you add a video it will animate the whole uh, page okay so since we are making a thumbnail we will skip this one but just for you to see you can have for fashion food mountains nature people plants rain sea and so on so forth next we have the background in here we have a collection of high quality photos that you can use as your background for example this okay it was automatically applied on our page okay you can also click this and yes there are a lot of high quality photos if but also if you want you can upload your own background i'm just showing you some of the photos okay next is we have the folders in this section you will find your designs purchased images or videos logos and more so this is like uh, i'll show you these are my designs and if i wish to make a new page i'll just click this one and it will automatically put uh, it will automatically appear on the canvas if you don't want it then just delete a page and we'll just stick on to the original one that we have made okay after that we have the more option over here the three dots if you're going to click it you will see more elements which you can add to your page but since in this video we are just making a youtube thumbnail some of the integrations are not that useful but remember canvas logo design everything all these apps and integrations are very useful especially when you are going to make posters logos marketing flyers banners and many more because for example here we have emoji and the emoji that are the same or that are also found on your phone are in here so you don't need to copy and paste from the web you can put here and here I think, yeah almost everything almost every emoji that is available on the web is right here and finally the crown symbol which refers to the pro users this illustrates the benefits of being a pro member such as the brand kit photos pro magic resize pro elements publish and many more when closing a section or a tool just hover your cursor here and wait for the tiny arrow to appear and click it by then you'll get a wider view of your canvas so for downloading your design go ahead and click the download button located at the upper right of your screen so here we have it and just click download download and click another one download and as you can see it says preparing your design and it's here you can see it on your download folder now that i have navigated you around the editing screen we are ready to create a thumbnail we will be making is the thumbnail for this particular video yes we are going to make the how to make a youtube thumbnail thumbnail so let's start in three two one Thank you. 
watching this tutorial. I can't wait to see you designing your own YouTube thumbnail. Please hit that like button if you've learned something new in this video. And please click subscribe and that bell button so that I will be seeing you on my next vlog. This has been Karen Santiago and once again, thank you very much.